<laughs> Shit the bed. Well, howdy, folks. On today's episode of Derek's Horror Stuff Unboxing, we will be showing the Captain Spaulding Bump in the Night Studio face mask. These masks have been out of production for a dog's age, but are definitely my favorite masks to have. Now, before I jump into the video, I just have to let you guys know about my new Patreon account. Click the link in the description below if you want to get more information on that. Become a patron and have your handle shouted out on each one of my new videos. Now, let's jump into the unboxing. All right, guys, so here we have it. Not really much of an unboxing as much as it is a, uh, I guess, like a review. Um, but I do want to just show you guys this mask. I know it's a harder one to come by, and a lot of people have not seen it. Um, I know that before I saw it on eBay a few months back, I didn't actually even know it existed. Uh, there are a few Bump in the Night's masks, four of them. Now, I have heard about different variants, but not including variants. There are four masks. There's Captain Spaulding, Dr. Satan, Otis, and uh, one of the zombies. These masks uh, are not cheap these days. They go for a pretty penny. I got a good deal on mine, uh, but even then it was still expensive. I want to say I probably paid roughly $300 for all three masks. I might have paid a little bit less. So I will show you all the three that I have, uh, but for this video, I'm just going to be going over the Captain Spaulding mask. So um, sit back, enjoy, let's take a look at it. Okay guys, so here we have it. Let's get a nice close-up shot of it here. Uh, this is Captain Spaulding, AKA Cutter, uh, AKA Mr. Studio Girl, AKA Sid Haig from House of a Thousand Corpses and Devil's Rejects, and technically three from L if you want to count it. This is the Bump in the Night Studio Mask. It still has the official tag on it, and it's one of my favorite ones out there. So if we look at it here, I'll get you an idea. The hat is very long. Um, which I think is interesting. The paint is really nice. Now, again, this is an old mask. Uh, let's see when this came out. This mask came out in 2003. So 17 years ago, this mask came out. Uh, for its age, I think it looks rather good. Uh, in certain spots, it is browning some, it is yellowing some, and it's cracking some. Um, but to be completely honest, I mean, that goes with the character, so I love it. You can see the eyes, uh, which I really like the size of the eye holes. I'm the eye hole man! What is going on? Give me my eye hole! I also really like that they gave eyelids here. Uh, a lot of masks don't do eyelids, so uh, it just looks kind of weird when you put it on your face. Uh, but these are they're small enough to make your eyes look like they belong. The mouth is really cool. This hair is not real hair, uh, so that would have been nice. But again, I really like the way it looks anyway. The teeth are really cool, nice and rotted. Same with the tongue. They did a really great job of giving him like that rotten feel to him. We'll spin it around by the hat here. This is the neck here. The ears have holes in them, so you kind of hear. Uh, this, by the way, if you're wondering, this is the House of a Thousand Corpses uh, base for it. I made this, uh, so, you know, it's just kind of a makeshift kind of thing, but I don't, I don't make them often. Here's the back. It's a large mask, which is good for somebody like me because I have a large head. The Dr. Satan mask, which I'll go over in another video, is not meant for people like me. It is a very small mask. Uh, my wife can fit in it, but I've never been able to try it on, which sucks because it's my favorite mask. So that's it guys, that's the review of the Bump in the Night's Captain Spaulding Mask. I do hope you enjoyed it, it's a very nice mask. I do recommend it if you get your hands on one of them, especially if you can get one at a fair price. As always, remember to please hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all my new videos, my content, my giveaways, my reviews, all of that jazz. Follow me on Instagram to keep up with all my exclusive content there. Check me out on Facebook and tweet me on the Twitter. I will see you guys in the next video, I am out.